I'm proud to say from a professional perspective and my firm's perspective, we have a little over a hundred people who have been with the firm in excess of 20 years. Wow. We just had a celebration of a woman who's with us 50 years. We have uh, 10 people with us over 40 years. We have 35 or so people with us over 30 years and about 50 people over 20 years, right in that neighborhood. To Somebody to be with us 15 years is nothing. Uh, and why is it, and I ask myself, why is it, uh, especially with such a, a opportunity to mm -hmm. find work elsewhere? And again, it's not a silver bullet. There's no one um, aspect of it, but it's something that I take great pride in, which is our culture. And we measure people are they either culture carriers or culture killers? Mm. And in order to be a culture carrier, you have to understand what our culture is. Right. And our culture is clearly defined and reinforced. It's care, compassion, and concern for our clients, our colleagues, and our community. Mm. Care, compassion, and concern. Those are the characteristics of people that we're looking for. But who are they giving that care, compassion, and concern for? For our clients, first and foremost, our colleagues who we work with, and our community. So um, we give back to our community a lot. I allow people, or in, I shouldn't really say allow, encourage people uh, to take time during the business day and we pay it, uh, to give back to the community the expectation isn't to do it on their weekend time or when they're not working, they should be doing it when they're working. Um, people donate their time to the various and they can select whatever um, organization that they want for over a period of time, as long as it's a not for profit and can't be uh, donating my time to my brother because we're going fishing. Sure. It's got to be a, a real organization um, because that. When you give back to the community, it really um, it really heartens your soul and uh, grounds you as to what we're really about, which mm -hmm. is representing people from our community. Um, and then with respect to our colleagues, it lays a foundation as to how we have to treat one another. The simple truth is nobody wants to be coming to work every day, but since we all have to do it, I want to do it with people I like. Mm -hmm. Now, do I have to agree with them on a political standpoint? No. Do I have to agree with them on a personal level on what they enjoy versus what I enjoy? Definitely not. Mm -hmm. But what I do have to ensure is that they treat me and everybody around me with the appropriate dignity and respect everybody deserves. So um, it's I do not tolerate anybody who is um, acting inappropriately and everybody knows it and everybody rise, rises above it. And it's just not my responsibility. It's everybody's responsibility to enforce our um, culture across the board. Now, in order to ensure that this happens routinely and regularly, um, Everybody does their own individual self-assessment and annual review where the measurements really are on care, compassion, and concern, how they've demonstrated it. Um, their supervisor evaluates on, on that. Are they culture carriers, culture killers? I personally send out a review. It's an anonymous review to everybody about myself. I want to know, am I living up to that standard? I certainly don't <laughs> rise above it. I have to be held equally as accountable sure. as anybody else. Um, but the most important thing I think we do is we survey our clients for every touch point a client has in my office. We specifically ask them by name, are you being treated with care, compassion, and concern? So. Uh, it's easy just to have those words roll off the tongue, but actions speak louder than words and, and um, you have to walk the walk. So 
when people realize that they are uh, working at an organization that's so committed to respect and dignity, it's a place that they realize is where they want to be. And I've had people leave mm -hmm. and I've had a lot of people come back. I have no problem that I, I will always and say- And you invite them back happily? I always say this is America. If you believe you can do better somewhere else, I wish it. you good luck, mm -hmm. right? Go for it. I would never hold somebody back. But if it isn't quite what you think it is, you're welcome to come back. I do, certainly don't do that with everybody. Sure. But there, I can give a, off the top of my head, a list of people who have, I've welcomed back and they've, they are the best people to welcome back because they just share what Appreciation. it's, they, they share, you know, hey, it's pretty good here, mm -hmm. right? Uh, the other benefit of being an organization that started in 1959 uh, is the long-term relationships that form um, with the, your colleagues and some of those relationships that have been formed have been more than professional, meaning several people have gotten married in the organization. Mm -hmm. So although we're relatively large, there, it's truly a family firm. We have a lot of husbands and wives, and we have a lot of parent and children who work in the firm.